it's Ooh. Wind's Bear and we're back with another video. What are we doing today? So today's topic, mm. is it better to be a criminal in South Africa? Yo. Let's just take a quick look at this clip. Okay. And you tell me what you think about it. Yeah, hello, he does, hello, he does. You put us in prison and uh, you think uh, we are suffering. No, my brother, we are doing extremely fine. Look how, how happy we are. Uh, this morning we had breakfast. And in the afternoon we had lunch. Yeah. And we had the supper. And yeah. we are going to eat dinner every oh, yeah. <laughs> We are doing extremely fine. We are not even suffering at all. Uh -uh. Hey, uh, we are happy. Yeah. And look here, we are not even paying rent. No. We are not buying electricity. No. Yeah, nothing, my brother. We don't even cook food. They no. give us food for free. We don't even cook. No. Yeah, the difference is the same, my brother. No, we are not... No, we my brother, we, we don't need toiletries, we give for, for free. free. And the education is going to be free in prison. Yeah. <laughs> we're not suffering, we're not suffering. If you think we are suffering, no, my brother, you are wrong. Yeah, no, wrong. very wrong. Very wrong. Look how it... So what are your thoughts on all of that? Very silly. Very silly and very unnecessary. So, like, I get how... A lot, like people may be quite annoyed by that because they, we understand that people go to prison because they've committed a crime, right? And crimes definitely is like, you know, some really, really bad crimes out there. And to think that, you know, somebody who might have murdered people or something like that is living easy. Like I'm just saying what happens in people's minds. They're living easy, you know, and then it angers them. But I know the main issue here that a lot of South Africans have, which is the same issue that they're having with, you know, foreigners being in, 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 in the country is that, oh, you know, people are poor, but look at what foreigners are having, or like foreigners get jobs and things like that and all of that. So now it's like, oh, well, prisoners, we have people who are in poverty, living in poverty, but prisoners are living nicely, but it's not even really the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, what, well. So again, this is a very simple question. It's yeah. a very simple question that you must, you must answer for yourself. Would mm. you rather be out in the street with nothing, mm. fending for your life every day, yeah. or be in a prison? Mm having all your basic needs met i mean obviously in that in that in that what would you rather be it would be rather in prison because right? you know yes you have all your basic needs met yes again no toiletry yeah food a shot over your head yeah. you're clothed every day they will even wash your clothes for you apparently yeah. and, and apparently these guys don't even work like that well, yeah. they're supposed to be working but they don't even work like that yeah. now they have contraband they, they have phones they have laptops they, no, they can it's entertain even made it, mm, they can actually entertain themselves while there's they, no they, actual they, consequence like I understand the, the basic need of food because obviously they can't keep you in there without food but like the luxuries so, that's kind of no so now it's now the optics here in South Africa which is something that I've always like wondered like why is it like that but now the optics is like it is much better to be a criminal in South Africa than it is to be a law-abiding citizen. Mm, criminals it's more beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, criminals seem to be treated a certain way. Yeah. While law-abiding citizens seem to be treated it's, it's, a certain it's way. It's like that because our standard of living is so low. Exactly. Why? Like if it was, this wouldn't be luxury. This shouldn't be luxury. That's, this that's is my like point. basic need. But that's my point. A criminal's basic needs are being met while a law abiding citizen is need, not. You've been given three fifty. Yes. As a law abiding mm -hmm. citizen, you are given you are just given mm -hmm. three fifty. And then it's like deal deal with yourself yes. for the rest of the month. I hear you. While as a prisoner, mm -hmm. you get food, yeah. you get shelter, mm -hmm. you get free electricity, and Absolutely. you get and you can get educated for free. Yeah. Now you can even entertain yourself with mm -hmm. cell phones, be on TikTok and whatever. Yes. You, Take videos. All these things. Yeah. So again, that's what I'm saying, man. Why? Why is it like that? Why is the government? Why does the government seem to prioritize upkeeping criminals? That says a lot about your government if they do that, because it shows you that they'd rather have people in a system, you know, like that, a controllable system where they are actually controlled, 
then like people actually become better citizens in, in the country so and, it's like and advancing it's and, like the government is government is prioritizing criminals human rights mm. over law-abiding citizens human yeah rights, which seems like a contradiction yeah because again i'm a law-abiding citizen you are the government you're supposed to be taking care of me as much as or even better oh, even better than the than the way you're taking care yes. of a criminal mm -hmm. but it seems like it's the other way around it's the other you're way taking around. care of the criminal yeah. more than you're taking care of me somebody who hasn't broken any laws yeah and who's a law abiding citizen. and like people wouldn't even be offended by these videos like if it if we really didn't have this problem that we have in our country i'm mm. offended I like i have all these basic needs and i'm offended Imagine not imagine not being able to, not having to pay for electricity. Hmm. You see how like, how expensive electricity is right yeah. now in this country. Yeah. And there are people who are just living off of free electricity. Yes. Free. Free of charge. And not worrying not about paying, groceries. Not paying They're rent. not affected by the inflation that yes. we're experiencing. They're not, not affected by no the rent, interest rates that no we're bond. Mm. You're just living. You're just living. Yeah. All your basic needs are being taken care of. Plus, you're not really isolated because you've got friends, like people yes. that, you know, like you, you socialize. So, so what happens to rehabilitation? Because the whole point is, you don't want to make these people worse than they are. The and putting is, them in stress situations will actually make them worse off to the point where they can never be reintegrated into society. Yes, so the thing, the, the thing is, there should be levels to it. When if you if you commit petty crimes, then you should be rehabilitated and back into society. But if you are like again a very dangerous uh, criminal, as you can as you can tell from but like from people have life, remorse. There's such a thing as remorse and and look changing. At the, look at the stats. And, look at the stats. But we can't paint everybody with more one more brush. more of them reoffend than they not. And on top of that, these guys actually go into prison and become more integrated into their gangs because their gangs are also in the prison. Well, that is true. So, that is a reality. There's no, there's no, there's no rehabilitation that's actually going on here. Like these people, some people will actually go into prison, not gang affiliated, and come out gang affiliated. Mm. Now they're part of the gang. Now they're even worse than when they came in. Mm. Stuff like that happens. So again, if you look at the stats, more often than not, people reoffend. Mm. So the system is not working. Because if you have more people reoffending than people that are not reoffending, that means you know, I think are not working. I think in order for the rehabilitation pro process to work out, we'd actually have to work on like those other socioeconomic problems or those like how we mentioned now with the fact that the the, the poverty is really bad. Those are one of the reasons why people reoffend, like you mentioned. Life is better inside than outside. Exactly. So we need to stop that's a, making that's a life that's better a government, that's inside. A government, problem. a government is making it so that life in, life inside a prison is actually better than life outside if you are in poverty. So people will yes. be like, I actually had a reputation in prison. So we know the majority of people who fill up prisons are like Yes, that's a government that problem poverty. again. Why, can, why are you giving the same person 350 when they were living off of you this whole for 20 years? Now they have to come out and earn 350. What are you going to do with that? Yeah. So we 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 do have a new government now. We have a, yes. in this government national unity. Yes. And we have a new minister of correctional services. Yes. Someone from Freedom Prime Plus. So hopefully you're going to see what he does about these kind of mm. situations where prisoners are seemingly living um, much easier lives than yeah. law-abiding citizens. Yeah, like it shouldn't. We we shouldn't be seeing these instances where we look at a we look at a criminal bragging to us that he's mm. not paying for anything, he's not paying for rent. That we actually feel taxed. Food, and then we feel like yeah, like why why isn't the government treating us the same way as yeah. they're treating criminals? It shouldn't be mm -hmm. like that. Going into a correctional services center, you go in there to be rehabilitated, but you also go in there expecting to live a bit of a tough life yeah to you you're that's working. where you're facing the consequences of your actions you're working there every so day so at what point are you actually facing the consequences what i'd like to see is the correctional services actually working again putting these prisoners to work put yeah. them to work 
make them work in communities yeah. let them clean up the let them clean up the cities yeah. let them clean up neighborhoods let 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 them just be around and make sure that and work places and are clean and... places are safe you know I mean, put them to good that... use so so that society benefits from from your incarceration at least because only you were a danger and now you're eating off of our tax money and now you're living off our tax money. Yeah. Let's benefit. Like, how is luxury alternate to to death penalty? You can, you can, you can actually go into prison and then come out with a degree, with a mm. postgraduate degree. You can come out a better person, which yeah. is the, which is the main aim of our correctional services, which, which is fine. But at least we must we must put them to better use. They need to like improve society in, in their own way make them garden boys or something make like use them they are there free labor it's even free labor we can even make that free labor i need you eating off of our tax money let's get let's get some labor out of you let's get something out of you otherwise yeah maybe like find ways to do something within like the prison otherwise it will be it will be more beneficial to to have like things like the death penalty because mm. now prisoners will not be such a high burden on the government and stuff like that. Yeah. But at least if they have if they have like a good output, mm. if they're doing something for society, then everybody's have at least DA they must do that because we cannot have situations where a foreigner can come in illegally, get arrested and then live a better life than a law abiding citizen in South Africa can. Absolutely. There are people living in poverty right now that Absolutely. are struggling to eat every single day. But there's a foreigner who just came in illegally, got arrested, and is living better than that person. How does that make sense to anybody? Doesn't. The government will just give you 350 and be like, yeah, see yourself. See yourself. For the rest of the month. But now there's a guy who just came in, got arrested, and is living better than mm. you. That doesn't make sense, and that shouldn't be the point. People should actually fear going to prison again. That's another thing. Because me, yeah. if 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 I was a guy out in the streets living in poverty struggling to get food every day yeah my best option would be to go to we'll prison go to prison that's my best option i don't have a roof over my head it's mm. cold i can imagine there's probably peak season also of intakes of prisoners mm. like i'm sure when it's about to be winter and it's getting cold they know there's an influx of prisoners coming because think about it you don't need to worry about where you're gonna sleep you don't need to worry about food so again this is another another broken part of our society another broken part of our government mm. government is taking better care of prisoners than they are of like law-abiding citizens and my best advice to you if you're out on the street homeless no food nothing to do nowhere to go mm. no money Commit a petty crime, get arrested, <laughs> go to jail. Nah, that is not good advice. That's my that's my best advice. What's better than that? Mm -hmm. Go I to a homeless shelter, that. struggle. When you can go to prison and be fed every we day. We don't want to promote people being criminals. The government is incentivizing people to be criminals. The government is doing that. Yes. Me, if I was a guy, we should it, really start seeing that this is a serious problem. Yes. If I was a guy even who's struggling to make ends meet every yeah. every month and every month I'm struggling to pay mm. my electricity, I'm struggling to yes. pay my rent, and then I see a video like this, obviously I'm gonna be mad. I'm like, yo, that's where it's done. I'm like, the government should be doing this for me. Like, yeah. I shouldn't be thinking about these basic needs that I need to that I need to do every month. I shouldn't be. These guys are not thinking about that. Why why should I be thinking about that? That's how messed up this whole thing is. And I hope um, the new Minister of Correctional Services do something about that. At least put them to work. Let them be yeah. good for society. Yeah. But other than that, you guys let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.